Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Everyday I'm Mothering, and our next experiment in the 31 Days of Halloween STEM series, which has been such a fun experience for us so far. But today we are making Diving Ghost, and this is a really neat experiment, and your kids can learn a lot from it, but it is tricky. It's probably our trickiest one we've done, so there is some trial and error, and we learned a lot from this. So make sure you watch all the way through so you don't have to make the same mistakes we did and ensure that it'll work well the first time. So you'll just need a container of water, we used two bottles since both my girls are doing it. Some type of plastic bag, a garbage bag that's white. You'll need a penny per bottle, a dropper per bottle, and then an extra dropper. Scissors, a Sharpie, and then you'll need a hot glue gun as well. Then the first step is going to be to go ahead and let your hot glue gun be heating up while everything else gets set up. Then you'll need to cut your pipette, and you'll want to do that about three quarters of an inch past the bulb. <gasps> Next, you're going to add water, and you'll want to add about three quarters, again, full of water in the bulb. You'll want to do a little bit more than we show here, which was one of our issues. That's only half full, and it was not enough. So go ahead and put at least three quarters full of water. Then you're going to put your hot glue around the end to seal it and attach it to your penny. So if your droppers are looking like this at this point, please note you'll need to add more water. We had to end up taking off the hot glue and the penny and filling them back up and it was a really big pain. So make sure you put more than that in there. Cool. Cool. It was just a little. So the idea here is that you're trying out your bottle before you attach the ghost to see if you need to make any changes. As you can see, because we didn't have enough water in ours, it was really difficult for the girls to squeeze in their bottle. It took so much pressure that they were not able to actually squeeze it themselves. Oh, it sneaks all the way to the bottle. That's cool. Can I play? Is it a lava lamp? So after you've ensured that your water level is perfect and the pressure isn't too difficult, you can go ahead and draw the faces on your trash bag to get ready to attach to your ghost. Now here's where we made another mistake in cutting these too large. You don't want them to go past the end of the penny at all or they will get caught. So ours were too big and we had to end up trimming them down, but they can decorate them however they want and I think it's easier to do it before you put them on, but you could also do it afterwards if you wanted to. And yes, I just about glued it to my trusty cardboard there that's been with me throughout that hot glue gun. So be careful when you glue that on. Then the instructions had said to put dots around the ghost to attach it so that it still flows. So we did that originally, and this was another lesson learned. It flowed out too much and it got stuck on the bottle. So we ended up having to come back and just put the hot glue around the entire um, bulb and then when you can glue it down that way everything is attached to the bulb and there's not pieces sticking out that can get caught on the bottle. It won't fit. Yeah, it Squeeze. Awesome. Why well, won't it go down in there? What do you think is going to happen? It's going to explode. It's going to stay up here. Blowing. <laughs> so this was the point where the girls were shaking so hard trying to squeeze this that we realized we need to make some changes. So like I said, we added more water to the pipette and we cut the trash bag so that it wasn't hanging down past where the coin was. And then we were able to actually squeeze it and get it to move down. <laughs> My 
now our ghost was floating up and getting caught on the sides of the bottle. So again, we dumped it out, fished it out, and ended up putting the glue, like I said, in a horizontal line around the entire bulb and gluing the entire ghost down. So we finally had a diving ghost and it was working, except that only Craig and I had enough pressure on the bottle to be able to get it to work. So then we realized we didn't have enough water in the bottles. So we filled them back up. So you can see here, the water is completely to the top of the bottle cap. And then the girls were finally able to get it to work. You squeeze your bottles that makes the water level rise which and that makes more pressure in your little eyedropper which makes it more dense which means it's going to sink. I'm an evil scientist. <laughs> <laughs> cool! <laughs> it goes up. It goes up. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below how your ghost turns out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out the rest of our Halloween STEM series. It disappeared. I came back. Nothing's happening. That's boring.